Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for today's devotional. Uh, today I'm looking at Proverbs 22, verse 3. It says, The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. You know that moment when your mind sends up a caution signs, uh, but your body doesn't do anything to heed those warnings? Uh, there was a time when I was maybe eight years old, standing outside my church, uh, looking at a rock pile. And I picked up some rocks from that pile, and I moved away about 30 feet from the pile. And I started to throw the rocks back into the pile. And somewhere in the back of my mind, something, something didn't seem quite right, uh, but I kept on throwing. Why didn't I stop and think about the fact that I was throwing into a rock pile that was directly in front of a basement window? I still have no answer to that question. And yes, I broke the window on probably my third throw. Uh, it skipped right off the pile, shattered the window. The, the problems that I could avert if I would just listen to the voice inside my head that tries to give me instruction. The Holy Spirit is a voice of instruction. In 1 Kings 19, Elijah experiences the voice of God. Uh, verses 11 and 12 say, A great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. God spoke to him in that gentle whisper. Uh, the King James Version translates it, uh, a still, small voice. The Holy Spirit is graciously speaking into my heart, into my mind, into my spirit, pushing me in the direction that God wants me to go. But there's a problem. We've all gotten really good at ignoring the right voices in order to listen to our own voice. The more you ignore that still, small voice of God, the harder it is to hear it in the future. The more that you seek to hear God's still, small voice, the louder it becomes. Ask God to reacquaint you with the voice of the Holy Spirit. Ask God to help you see danger when danger exists and to take refuge like it talks about in verse 3 rather than forging ahead as really any fool would do. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you that you do give us the voice of the Holy Spirit uh, speaking into our hearts and our minds every day. God, I pray that this, this day, the, this week, that you'd help us to hear your, your voice a little bit better. There's so many times, Lord, where I, where I drown out your voice so I can hear my own voice and do what I want to do. Lord, forgive me of that. And God, I pray that when, when I start to do that, give me some conviction. Challenge us in those moments to hear you instead of ourselves. Uh, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everybody. I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time.